At Business Analyst 9.3.1, we've added better maps, better access to maps, and a better MXD as a focal point into the product. So as I zoom into the Seattle area here, I can see just that. My vector layers are drawing much faster, they're much better looking, I've got better labels, better cartography, uh, better streets, better hydro, everything is better than what it was in 9.3. So if I zoom all the way down into the kind of street view of the Seattle area, you can see this is a much nicer publishable quality map that you get to use. So from the Business Analyst toolbar we've also refreshed some of the site prospecting icons to make them a little more representative of what they actually do. We've added this TD button here for territory design so you can open up territory design the toolbar right from the Business Analyst toolbar. So just like the editor toolbar from ArcGIS as I open here, it's just better exposed and much easier to access. Another thing we've added here on the toolbar itself is this maps pull down. So here you can just add in imagery, shaded relief, a street map, or any of your favorite layers from ArcGIS Online. So right here we'll go and we'll get kicked out to the ArcGIS Online Resource Centers page. And once we are here, we can go through and you can pick your favorite ArcGIS Online um, service. So you've got world imagery and a terrain and a political map, uh, items from Bing, demographics, and these are all services from the internet that we can add in and use in our MXDs. So if I close that, go back to our maps button, I could just come in and simply add a world street map and it goes from the web to your MXD instantly and you can see that the world street map ArcGIS online cache service is very representative of the new vector layers that we've added in as the MXD layers so if I'm zooming out I'm no longer playing around or using my vector layers don't have to worry about anything there I'm just hitting this online cache service that's out on the server someplace and I could turn on imagery or I could turn off my street map but it's right in my table of contents and I can turn it on and turn it off just as I would if I went to Google or Yahoo or any kind of mapping website out there where I just quickly wanted to add in some imagery or a background map so as we go back into the table of contents just a quick browse through you can see that it's much cleaned up from 9.3. In 9.3.1 we've just gone through and then removed many layers that uh, either were no longer in use or consolidated some made them faster drawing through taking advantage of file geodatabase. You can come th in here and see that in the demographic data we have better breaks in the data. So here you can see median household income for 2009. Um, much better color scheme here. We go with the green hues where in 9.3 it was that kind of ugly red and yellow and, and white. And if I zoom all the way into the, the Portland area here you can see there's that better cartography. I've just got a zip code BDS layer added right to my map. And if I come into a random tool like spatial overlay you can see where it's used in the product. So here's our 2009 data got you know, diversity index in here. Uh, if I wanted to search for anything for 2009, here's my filter. Here's all my 2009 data sets. Go to home value, you know, add it into whatever I, whatever tool I'm, I'm working with. Here you can see I've got my five-year forecast here so I can add 2014 data. Another little uh, variable here is we've, we have land area and square miles which is from the census. So it's just a quick recap better maps, better access to maps, making it a little easier to use, and we've got 2009 data in the product.